So hello everyone and welcome back to another still life video with me. Uh, my name is Rihanna and today I am going to be doing a still life drawing, another still life drawing. And today this is my object that I'm going to use. Um, so it's just a red bell pepper. It's a little bit old. Um, and yeah, I think it's kind of on its last legs. But I'm going to use it anyway um, because I find that peppers are really good kind of still life um, objects to do um, if you're starting off kind of or you want to get practicing with your drawing skills again. And um, they're quite easy to do, I think. They're quite a simple outline and you can kind of um, add as much or as little detail as you want. So as you can see here, I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but there's a lot of... Um, kind of um, creases and wrinkles on the skin of the pepper and I don't know if I'm gonna add them in I think today I might not put them in because there's already quite a lot of detail and yeah I'll see I'll see how I go I'm gonna keep the video short and um, because that's the kind of style I'm trying to do these these still life videos in if it's working um, so I'm just propping up my pepper here and we'll get started. Just bear with me. <laughs> Just trying to get a good angle here. <coughs> Perfect. So I have two pencils today. Um, I'm going to do a little bit more shading than I did in my last video. Um, so if you haven't watched it, my last video I, um, I did a still life drawing of a, an artificial rose. And I actually only used, I think, the 2B for that. And whilst I did get a good bit of shading in, um, I think today using the 4B as well will allow me to add a bit more depth and definition. So I'll just get started and I'll stop talking so much. Um, okay. So I think peppers were kind of like, I always remember I did like a really, a drawing of a pepper that I really liked in school. And I always remember that I really liked the way I was able to get the shading into it. Um, and that it was just quite a good result. And I've done a few of them since then. It's kind of a random object to do. But it really kind of gets the creative flow going. And yeah, I think it's a nice one. It can be a nice one. <clears throat> so I'm just starting off with the outline. Again, my sketching skills are quite rough um, because I always find if the rougher I keep them, um, it means they don't have to look pristine either. So I tend to look at uh, my still life objects um, kind of uh, as a whole, if that makes sense. So I'll do the total outline first. And quite often <coughs> these uh, fruits or the vegetables possibly, <laughs> they, um, they often have quite interesting shapes on them. And some of them can look a bit like wobbly and yeah, they're nice ones to be able to kind of pick up those details on and they're always quite original pieces then. So we've done the outline there very quick. I'll just sharpen it up. So that's kind of how the total outline looks to me. Um, and now I'm going to start with the top of it because there's more detail here um, and kind of start adding pieces in as I see them appear. So with this bell pepper, the centre stalk has actually been uh, broken off somehow, but I really like the stalks on bell peppers. I think they're quite, um, they really give it its kind of unique look, you know, and um, they always have a chunky stalk. So I'm going to invent one for this, 
just for this drawing and um, just from memory really because they're not really a difficult part to do but I can kind of vaguely picture what it would look like in my head so they're usually quite sturdy looking stalks and they have kind of a, a net, an end on them that looks rather blunt I think so we've just invented a stalk there for this pepper um, and they have kind of a base around them and So slowly coming together here, I'm still just filling in the outlines and hoping it's starting to look a little like um, a bell pepper <laughs> from where the camera is anyway. Um, so I didn't get to do any drawings or videos over the weekend. Um, I went over to London just to see some friends from university. And it was actually a really nice weekend, but I just had to totally switch off from any sort of um, work or kind of business or promoting my work because um, I just didn't have time really. It was quite hectic, it was just go all the time, as London is for any of you that have been to London or live in London. I'm sure you'll, you can relate to that. Okay, so now I'm at a stage with this pepper that I'm starting to see the outline I've done isn't quite as, it's, it's not quite the way it looks. So I'm gonna just bring it out a little bit further. I think it was a little bit rounder on that side and yeah, that looks a bit, a bit more like it. Um, <clears throat> So I'm actually recording this video on my mother's phone. It's an iPhone. Um, so excuse me if I keep stopping and starting. I'm just um, conscious of the fact that I don't know how long um, her phone records for. But normally I record on like either a camera, like a Canon camera or a um, Hawaii phone. And they're, my one's quite old. I think Hawaii phones are very good, but um, Mine in particular is just very old, so <laughs> it's not the best quality at this stage anyway. Okay, so now we've got the outline. I think I've done all I can do with that. Actually, sorry, I've just seen one last detail I'd like to just fix. This part here comes up a little bit higher and a bit wider. Uh, So I think I've kind of I've milked that outlining for all I can <laughs> and now it's really I can start to add in a bit more uh, shading and that's where it's going to get kind of more interesting and a bit more detail. So actually I want to just do a few lines here on the stalk because um, that's what's going to make it look very realistic. Um, just sharpen my pencil. So the lines on the stalk of the pepper, I mean, <clears throat> any natural objects have texture really. It's very rare that you'd find something in nature that's just totally smooth and doesn't have these kind of grains and lines in them. But I think that's very nice and that's what makes them unique. 
And it also means that that's what um, lets me create texture and kind of interest in certain areas. And I can kind of show my audience that this is actually a stalk. You know, it's not a flat object and it's a lot easier to demonstrate this. When you have these little lines and these little details, it's really nice and it makes everything unique. So, yeah, so we have the details put in that. Now I'm gonna do a little bit of shading. So on the front of this pepper, this side is actually kind of, it meets, it meets this part here. And it's actually, if this part here is protruding a little bit. Um, so I'm gonna use my shading to try and demonstrate that somehow. I can um, and it kind of joins up with this part then oh, see that actually worked very well now any lines I make can be rubbed out after um, but it's just nice to have a guide I think to vaguely know where your, where your shading will be at um, and I'm gonna try speed it up actually because I'm taking a bit longer than I had imagined. So I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna get my 4B pencil. This is my 4B and I'm gonna start doing some darker places and just kind of, just go for it a bit because I'm kind of being quite cautious at the moment and that's what's slowing me down. So actually, sorry, that's a mistake. I'm gonna shade with my 2B first because you can always go back and shade in darker parts, but it's hard if you, you can't really do it back. Well, you can do it backwards, you can use your eraser. But I just think it'd be easier to do the lighter shading from the 2B first and go back and fill in the darker bits and then I can use my eraser at the end to put on a little bit of shine onto it. Um, okay, so. I mean, I think with the pepper, there's gonna be very little places that I don't shade. I think I'll probably shade it all. Um, just do a full pencil sketch. And then I'll add the depth in at the end, just through the darker parts. Yeah. Um, you can kind of see it coming together now. Um, obviously the front is gonna be a lot lighter than the kind of back section of it. I'll just keep going here. So I'll talk a little bit about my London trip. I actually, I managed to get to a museum on the Sunday. I only went for two days really. Um, I went quite early from Dublin on the Saturday, Saturday morning. And I flew into Gatwick and straight into city centre then. And I met my friends there and um, we kind of, we went for lunch first and then we actually, we tried to go for lunch in um, the Breakfast Club, which is a pretty well-known spot, um, especially around central London. It's a really kind of, it's quite a niche, like chain, I think. They're very, um, I'd never been, but from what I'd heard and what I'd seen of them. Um, yeah, they have their, a really kind of unique feel about them and when we eventually did get to go so we went the first day but it was closed oh sorry it's not closed I'm losing concentration here um we couldn't get a table because it was so busy so we went on the Sunday we waited for an hour to get a table but although the wait was quite long um it was definitely worth it I would say the food was probably like one of the nicest breakfasts that I've ever gotten somewhere and um, yeah, so we went for breakfast. That was the breakfast on the Sunday. Now on the Saturday, we basically went to see a show um, in the West End. So I have been to a few shows there, but it's always nice um, to go and just see one. And it's just a nice atmosphere and it feels, just feels like a proper London evening, I guess. And obviously the West End is such a nice area anyway, just to be in. Um, just wandering around and just such a good atmosphere. 
so much happening. Um, always something to see. So the West End show we went to see was nine to five. Um, so it's like a Dolly Parton, um, Dolly Parton uh, musical. And it was actually starring David Hasselhoff. I think that was his name. <laughs> I, I keep getting him mixed up with someone else. But yeah, I think it was David Hasselhoff and he's actually really good. He's very funny. Um, and that was really nice. Yeah, yeah, it was like a really lovely weekend. Um, we stayed near Caledonian Road, I think. So just a few minutes walk from King's Cross Station. We got an Airbnb. So now the Airbnb was very, very basic, um, but it was all we needed really at the time. <laughs> um, but yeah, it definitely, it was a bit dodgy where we stayed, I think. I was a bit cautious staying there. Um, it was funny actually, because we didn't actually, we never met the host. We were just left like, um, like a list of clues basically of where to find the, um, the key and how to get into the flat. <laughs> which was quite funny and um, a little bit, um, I don't know, definitely put me on edge a bit because I was thinking, do you know, normally, well, any other time I've stayed in Airbnb, I have met the person who is kind of hosting us. Um, so it was just like this fictitious person <laughs> that we never actually got to see. And then on the Sunday after most of my friends had left, me and one of the girls who we went to, um, I think it's called High Street Kensington, I think, I think it's the tube stop. And um, we went to, sorry, let's get a drink of coffee. Um, we went to um, the Design Museum in London, which I had never been to. And I, d I don't know why I've never been before because it was brilliant. I'd actually go as far as saying it was one of my favorite um, kind of exhibitions or museums I've ever been to. It was just so interesting. Obviously, I would find it interesting. Like I love design, I love graphic design, but um, I was just surprised that I'd never kind of heard of it more, more spoken of. Um, it was just so nice being there. It was just like a whole museum kind of dedicated to design rather than just art um, obviously both are really nice but I've been to a lot of art galleries and um, whilst they're really lovely places and I do you do see some really cool stuff um, there's just something different about design as opposed to art and it wasn't just graphic design either it was like um, it was like a lot of different things and um, different kind of genres nearly of design that I maybe wouldn't have even considered existed before. So, um, just a little update on my drawing. Kind of added in most of the shading, like the first kind of layer of shading, I'd like to say. As you can see, I've kind of left the front section here a lot brighter because that's the one that, to me anyway, that the light is hitting. Um, so next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my 4B pencil and I'm going to start adding in the really dark parts um, which would be here, anywhere that the shadow is really cast. So here, here would be quite obvious as well from where I'm sitting anyway. Definitely down the bottom here and it's actually okay you like to create a like, sharp contrast as well. Um, not everything has to be super blended when you're drawing because like there are actually lines and shadows in real life when you look at things um, so a bit of harsh, harsh contrast can actually work quite well sometimes um, when it's done kind of correctly so this side of the pepper has quite a bit of a shadow on it I would say um, just because of how I have it placed so I'm going to make that quite dark. Same with here. And yes, that was kind of the end of my little weekend in London. London's just such a great place. I've always loved it for some reason. Um, and like kind of any excuse I get to go, 
like I'll go. <laughs> There's just always something nice to see. And even if you haven't got like a strong purpose of being there, it's just a nice place to walk around. But I have to say this time I did find it very tiring. Um, I think it's, <laughs> I hate to say it, but I think it's the fact that I'm getting a little tiny bit older. Um, yeah, I just find it very, very draining being there. Um, not to say I don't enjoy it just as much, because I do. And yeah, I'll definitely be back. But I, I was happy to return to Dublin and just the bit of peace and quiet, like I actually appreciated it, which before I'm, I never really did. I hated the, the kind of still quiet life over in Ireland. Um, but it is nice, it's nice to come back to.